Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry about this look, but we're going for the no makeup look today. I just wanted to film a video to fulfill my promise to post the part 2 of the Q&A video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the person said, Hi, I've watched your videos about law school and I was wondering if you can suggest some further advice. Cheers! I am in com I am in uh, I am an incoming BA Legal Studies freshman at SLU Baguio. I want to pursue a career in the legal sector someday, hopefully a lawyer if I ever pass the bar exam. Do you think that this degree would be an effective course before taking law itself? I can give you a copy of our whole course curriculum if you want. Some suggest that taking up something like BALS, BA Legma, or Paul Sai is a bad idea because it's hard to land a job with a decent salary if you don't pass the bar exams. Really? Instead, one should pursue a degree that will serve as a plan B if ever they fail on taking the bar exam the bar exam successfully, at least for the first time. Thoughts? My opinion would be dependent upon the plan of the person. If a person is super sure that he or she wants to become a lawyer, then I would suggest a law-related course such as those that you have mentioned like Polsai, Legma, or the studies. However, if the person is unsure whether or not he or she would really, really want to become a lawyer, then I would suggest a course that he or she would really enjoy. Like, um, well, in my case, my pre-law course was nursing, so I am actually a registered nurse. I took up nursing, and then when I graduated from my nursing school, I took the board exams while I was first year in law school. Practicality lang din. Um, I would suggest a course that na sure ka na merong perk after graduating if you are unsure. Yon. Okay, so let's go to the second question. Good day! I would like to ask kung magkano ang tuition fee for law school at ano ang mga kailangan para makapasok sa law school kasi graduate ako ng BSIT pero hindi ko siya makontinue sa law. Bakit hindi? Thank you! Ayun. Uh, magkano ang tuition fee? Depending upon the number of units that you are going to take. In Arellano, the tuition fee costs around 2000 per unit plus miscellaneous na lang, miscellaneous fee. So, more or less, like, for example, in my case, I am taking up 21 units right now. So, that's 42,000 plus 8. So, mga around 50,000 per semester. And that is the usual range. Like, before when I was in UST, that was also the range of the tuition. Like, around 40 to 50,000 pesos. To be able to get into law school, you have to be a graduate of a bachelor's degree and you should have earned 18 units of English, 6 units of mathematics, 18 units of social science, and 3 units of Rizal course, which is usually offered in the pre-law course. However, if you English or Rizal or whatever, you can take it while you are in law school. So yeah. Here's the third question. So hi, it's me again. Love watching your vlogs. Thank you, love, love. Yes, I finally pursue my dream of becoming a lawyer. A freshman this August. Congrats! Anyway, I've been reading a lot of blogs about highs and lows, advantages over disadvantages of being a lawyer. My concern, my only concern is, do law firms only hire lawyers from top three schools? The top three we know by heart, as we often read and hear. So, I need not say it. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you and God bless. Um, unang sagot ko, definitely not. Hindi lang sa top three law schools na nag-hire. Although, meron kasi talagang, there are law firms that only accept lawyers from a certain school. Not all law firms accept only from the top three schools. Okay, and our last question. Hi, I'm a first year law student and I'm struggling with doing case digests. Sad face. Do you have any tips, especially for long cases? Thank you and good luck with school. Thank you, good luck then. Um, well, my tip for case digest, professors consistently remind us to read cases and we should read cases because um, Sabi nga ng isang professor na, oh my god, 
Sabi niya sa professor, a case gives you a background of the law. So when you read the law, it's just the law. It's so boring. But if you read a case, it gives you a background in the sense na it really explains to you how the law be applied. So yun, um, how do you digest cases? Well, this was a tip given to me by my cousin, Kuya Gino. Shout out! Example, a professor gives you a syllabus for your subject. For example, persons. There are topics and then under the topics, my list of cases. After you know kung under what topic yung case na yun, yun yung magiging focus mo dun sa digest na yun. Kasi sometimes, particular case, madaming topics na pwede yan. Pwedeng may related sa tax, pwedeng tungkol sa wills and succession, alam mo yun. So, kumbaga, kung yung topic mo is um, declaration of nullity of marriage, ganyan. So, you should concentrate on that. Hindi ka na magkoconcentrate dun sa mga iba pang mga facts na hindi naman related kung dun sa topic mo. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you again next week. I have filmed um, th the first three days of my law school, so watch out. Then, for the next next week, I would be posting my Barakay vlog, so that would be four weeks of Barakay vlogs. I'm actually thinking of vlogging pa, like my law school life, because as I've mentioned, this is gonna be my last year in law school, and I would not be traveling a lot. So, if you want me to vlog this, of my life in as a law student please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you again next week bye hey guys subscribe for more videos i post videos every wednesdays only here on my channel bye